Hi, welcome to Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley. And in 1964, then Pope Paul VI canonized a group of young men from Uganda, Africa. And we celebrate their feast day collectively every year on June 3rd as St. Charles Luanga and Companions. Now, these 22 men were martyred for their faith uh, by the king of Uganda, for not giving in to his sexual appetite. So let me back up a little bit. Charles Luanga was born in 1860, and he was, uh, as a young man, he was um, lived, like I said, in, in Uganda, Africa, and he was influenced by missionaries, Catholic missionaries, to his country. And he really was drawn to the life of Christ and to living the life, life like Christ. And so he became a catechist for other young men in his village and surrounding areas to catechize them to become Catholic themselves. And what was happening is the king, Mwanga, who had this voracious sexual appetite for young men, uh, would try to get young men from around his, his palace, different villages and whatnot, and have them work as pages, as servants in his household, and then he would groom them and try to take advantage of them. Well, Charles knew about this, and he knew it was inherently wrong, but he also knew it certainly didn't jive with his faith, the Catholic faith. And so he, he did what he could to try to give them other jobs, to circumvent any kind of attention that the king could give to them so that they wouldn't be drawn into that dangerous practice. And so, um, and, and, and at the same time, he taught them, he catechized them. Well, the king found out about this. He found out about, about Charles, and he ended up taking 22, 21, 21 of these pages and Charles himself, and he had them burned to death. They rolled them into rugs and burned them all, so they were burned alive. And so that's the feast day we remember is Charles Luanga and Companions. But Charles was one of these really brave men who was willing to not just die for his faith, obviously, but he lived his faith. He was willing to speak it publicly. He was willing to influence others or try to have conversations with others to catechize them. Um, we know what great courage he had too, even facing his death. We're told that when they were when they were forced to march to their place of execution, he would sing songs, religious songs, and, and he would recite the Psalms from the Bible and other things to, to buoy the spirits of these 21 other men, young men, to give them hope, <clears throat> to remind them that the reward will be in heaven. Um, what an example, uh, what a great example of, of courage in the face of even death. It reminds me, you know, do I, would I be willing to die for my faith? Do I live <laughs> with my faith? You know, how do I live my faith? That's not always easy either. Um, but the other thing Charles does for us is he reminds us, being somebody from, from Africa, he reminds us that the word Catholic means universal. And I've said this in other episodes, but it bears repeating. The word Catholic means universal. Christ came for all people in all times and all places. And I just think how wonderful that is. What a great reminder we have in St. Charles Luanga and his companions um, to be strong in, in our faith, to be courageous in face of persecution, um, but to always remember that it's all of us. We're all part of the mystical body of Christ. Thanks for watching. I hope that you found this content helpful. Uh, it'd be great if you'd want to share it with other people. We'd love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook. But either way, we're very grateful that you keep tuning in on Fridays for Fish on Fridays and hope you'll continue to do so. Till next time, please be good to each other and God bless. <music>